everyone, it's Kat from Plus One to Crafting, and today I have a special haul video for you. This is a vacation haul. Um, I recently went to Tennessee with my mom to visit family friends, and it turns out that my mom is totally an enabler. Hi, mom. Um, and she, you know, went around with me to a bunch of different craft stores, some of which we have here, some of which we don't have here in New Jersey, and I just want to run through them with you. So my big purchase was this Evolution Advance by We Are Memory Keepers. Um, this uh, die cut and embossing machine. Um, I got this from a Tuesday morning. Um, we don't really have them in New Jersey as far as I know. Um, my mom told me that we apparently had one back at home and then they shut down pretty quickly. So this was, I think, pretty close to half price um, when we picked it up. And I'm just very excited to have another tool um, for my um, repertoire and I'm excited to take this out and start playing with it soon. So one of the places that we went that um, is very unique and I just absolutely fell in love with is Scrappin' in the City, which is a scrapbook uh, store in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And we took a little bit of a detour there. Um, well, we, we ended up going there uh, on one of our first days in Tennessee um, and then loved it so much I went back. <laughs> so, um, big shout out to Scrappin' in the City. They were amazing. The store is amazing. The staff was so knowledgeable and so nice. Um, and I think there might be something to be said for like, yes, I'm from Jersey and going down south, there's always this big stereotype that everyone's so much more polite. Um, but it's just a different expectation a different lifestyle like things definitely are a lot slower in the south than I expect in New Jersey um, and I found myself having to take like a couple deep breaths every once in a while when we were out and about to be like everybody's a little bit slower everybody's a little bit more relaxed because I am like let's go let's get going people um, but everyone at this store was just absolutely amazing and I really wish that I had well first I wish I had this store here um, or something similar. Um, you know, we really only have, for the most part, a bunch of big box stores around here. Uh, I did look up in my area. There's a couple um, smaller, like, crochet, well, not just crochet. There's a couple smaller, um, like, yarn stores. I know um, there's a uh, jewelry making store that I've gone to before. Um, there's some smaller, like, uh, pre, like, cards already made. Um, stores but there's nothing quite like this around um and it's really you know a after being i don't want to say spoiled but getting you know getting this awesome experience it it's kind of a bummer that there's nothing like this up here but anyway here's what i got the first time around so of course i would not be me if i didn't get a sticker book um and this was different um this is by american crafts um and it was there on sale so it's got you know the planner stickers and everything and then it's just a really pretty sticker book um, they had a bunch of them there and it was all on sale um, but I did control myself a little bit and only get one and these are just such nice colors um, for this book then of course I ended up getting scrapbook paper um, they had such a beautiful display and everything was absolutely gorgeous and again like I had to stop somewhere because uh, I could have bought out the whole store um, these adorable little foxes and bears and dogs and this on the other side is just striped this absolutely gorgeous bird pattern with some just some dots on the back and I get a few of these this is actually the back of these cute whales. Aren't these adorable? 
Okay, this is the I got. This is a little bit simpler, um, you know, just like sort of the wave pattern. And then these little, like, splash little uh, icons. Then I couldn't resist some mermaids with some scales on the back. Then we have a catacorn. I mean, how could I not get a catacorn? Have some hearts on the back. Some fun unicorns. Then some little starbursts on the back. And this is actually the back of these boba teas. How awesome are these boba teas? Again, this is the back. These little birds. And then I ended up going back. So one of my main reasons for going back, one of them, there were two big reasons I went back, was because um, when I was there the first day, they were just stocking these cute Carpe Diem Traveler's notebooks. Um, and this one came with a little insert that's just some note paper. And then while I was there, I bought monthly and some more. This is actually lined notes, um, so I'm probably actually going to switch them out. And then I maybe already started getting some inserts from um, the printed pineapple for a daily planner and a habit tracker. I'm really going to use this more as a uh, like down and dirty planner to write a lot more details of my day to day um, and sort of use this to like, I don't want to say dirty it up, but sort of just, you know, cross things out and make notes. Um, it has the top three, the hydration to-do list. Um, and this I can just slip in whatever bag I'm carrying around um, and take it with me. And I already have some um, dashboards that I'm gonna be ordering from Foxy Fix uh, for this. And I have a couple charms that I'm uh, working on getting um, for this. And the other reason I went back is because I got a die cutting machine at Tuesday morning and I saw they had all these cute stamps and die cuts. So I got a stamping block, then I got these Some Bunny stamps. Uh, they didn't have the die cut in stock for this, um, but since this is, you know, kind of Easter themed, spring themed, and that's a little ways away, I have some time to order that. Um, and they were happy to order stuff for me. Um, and ship it home um but i just didn't really want to do that at that moment um they absolutely would have been happy to do that for me and get anything they you know offered to anything um they could get for me they were like i said such great customer service but i just wasn't interested in doing it at that time and i got this um kit this the stamp set and the die cuts for rub a dub dub theme pretty obvious with the bathtub and the ducks. Then I got this manatee-rific uh, stamps and die cuts. And as I'm sure you can probably imagine, I've already been on the Lawn Fawn website because I think I do um, just sort of browsing around. Um, I'm kind of in love with Lawn Fawn. They have the aesthetic that I'm looking for. And they have a lot of the um, kind of stamps that I'm interested in. So I've already been on their website. Um, yeah, so that could get me into trouble. The next place we went was Joanne Fabrics. Um, and I have Joanne Fabrics both near where I currently live and back um, where I grew up near my parents' house. But they're um, not great Joanne fabrics like the the staff is all absolutely amazing I've had nothing but great experiences um, as far as the staff and their customer service and their knowledge goes but they're very small stores and they have not really been updated um, to what some of the newer stores that have 
a lot more space or maybe have been built on their own or in new sort of strip mall areas. Um, these are usually, these are in older strip malls where there's not a lot of space. So half the store is dedicated to fabric and then about a quarter of it ends up being dedicated to seasonal. So they don't have hardly any scrapbooking um, or planners or like really any other paper crafting. They have maybe like a, an aisle and a half of yarn. Um, and I get all the fabric that I need from there. But they're just not the new flashy big stores. They're, they're older um, and they're, you know, not really able to stock nearly as much. So we were able to go to this obviously much newer Joann's and so much bigger. Like you could probably fit three or four. Uh, you could definitely fit both of the two stores uh, that I go to here in Jersey um, in there with extra space for maybe a third and fourth. Um, so I ended up getting some of the Happy Planner checklist sticky rolls. Then I got these super adorable Mama Elephant stamps and die cuts. Um, I think I'm going to try to do something to this little friend in particular um, because my family has had corgis for forever, um, since before I was born, and I think I can do something to make him kind of look like a corgi. Um, and I'm very excited about that. Um, but I'm very also excited for just these cute little pups. And then this really great Zodiac um, double-sided scrapbook paper uh, on the, with the cardstock with holographic foil. So I'm actually going to open this up to show you. Look, I don't know. Camera's picking up a little bit. Look at the holographic foil. Look at these bad boys. Or girls. Look at this awesome paper. Look at that. Just, ugh, I'm in love with it. So I saw this and it was on sale. So, you know, you can't beat that. So those were my purchases from Joann's. So then we ended up going to a Michael's in Tennessee and then we went to a Michael's that was right on the border of Tennessee and Virginia on our way home. It happened to be by um, a bunch of restaurants and a Starbucks where we stopped on our drive home because we drove both ways um, from Jersey to Tennessee, then Tennessee to Jersey. Um, so I got this little sticker book, very predictable. Um, and I have a really great Michaels by me, but it's just always interesting to see the um, different stock that they have in some states, but in some stores, but not in others. So I got this little recollections uh, sticker book. And then I mean like, it was only a matter of time before I got a nice paper cutter. I got the um, 12 inch uh, capability here and I'm just very happy to have this. Um, a, you know, it's just a very highly functional uh, tool. So that's my vacation haul um, from mostly Tennessee. Um, it just kind of figures, you know, craft are going to craft and, you know, you go to another state and what do you do? You go to all their craft stores, uh, even the ones that you have at home. So guilty as charged for sure. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed my haul. Bye.